Just as W.E.B. Du Bois noted long ago, the sermon and the song retain their power as vital sources of cultural affirmation and spiritual sustenance for all of us seeking comfort in a time of great uncertainty. In the darkest days of the lockdown, communities across the country turned to a powerful gospel song based on the 121st Psalm. Like Thomas A. Dorsey, Richard Smallwood composed it at a profoundly challenging moment in his life. His song, Total Praise, has joined the ranks of gospel's masterpieces, speaking its message of healing across the generations. The gospel sound is a black sacred sound. And then it reemerges as a freedom song. And so we can't divorce the political and social circumstances surrounding the sacred sound. The sound still connects people. The sound still gathers people. The sound still is a magnet for people. The beauty of gospel is its ability to summon the full weight of the sacred into the everyday urgency of black lives. A message our people still need as we face an uncertain future. Gospel is a prayer. It is a chant. It is a praise song. It is our heart's cry to God, rendered collectively and sublimely in lyrics and songs.